Hello, in this video we have this exponential equation. We have m power 2 minus n power 2 equals to 9 and we have m times n equals to 3. We are going to solve for the value of m plus n. So let's go ahead and do that. We have solution. So let's recall we can have m power 2 minus n power 2 is equals to 9. We can take the squares of both sides of this equation. So let's have it, we are going to have m power 4, then we have plus n power 4, then we have minus 2 m squared, n squared, and this is equals to 81. So we can as well make this the subject, and we are going to have m power 4, plus n power 4 and this is equals to we are going to have 81 plus 2m squared n squared so let's proceed we can have it as m power 4 plus n power 4 is equals to 81 plus we can factor it out we can have it as 2 into m times n or power 2 now from this particular point here you have n times n and if you go back to the original equation you were given m times n to be equals to 3 so let's insert that in we are going to have m power 4 plus n power 4 equals to 81 plus 2 into 3 power 2 and we have it as m power 4 plus n power 4 equals to if you evaluate this you are going to have simply 99 now that is it the next thing we are going to do is let's consider this other identity if you have x plus y or power 2 this is equals to x squared plus y squared plus 2xy now from this point we can have it as let maybe x be equals to m power 2 and y should be equals to n power 2 so when we insert into this particular identity we are going to have instead of x here we are going to have m power 2 plus n power 2 or power 2 equals to x squared we are going to have m power 2 or power 2 plus n power 2 or power 2 plus we have 2 into m squared times what n squared and we have it as m power 2 plus n power 2 or power 2 equals to this will give us m power 4 plus n power 4 and we can factor the mn out so we can have it as plus 2 into m times n or power 2 so we have m power 4 plus n power 4 and we have m times n now let's get back to what we have recall we have m power 4 plus n power 4 equals to 99 and also we have m times n equals to what 3 so let's fix that in here we are going to have m power 2 plus n power 2 or power 2 equals to this is 99 plus 2 into we have 3 or power 2 so we have m power 2 plus n power 2 or power 2 equals to 3 power 2 here is 9. 9 times 2 is 18 and 18 plus 99 we are going to have 1, 1, 7. So in order to eliminate this square so we can take the square root of m power 2 plus n power 2 or power 2 we have plus or minus the square root of 1 1 7 
So this will cancel the squares we have. M power 2 plus M power 2 is equals to plus or minus. We can write this as we can have it as square root of 9 times 13. So we have m power 2 plus n power 2 is equals to plus or minus square root of 9 we have 3 root of 13. So right now we have gotten the value of m squared plus n squared to be equals to this. Let's recall this other identity. If you have m plus n or power 2, this is equals to m squared plus n squared plus 2 times what? mn. And we are going to insert this for m squared plus n squared. So we are going to have m plus n or power 2 equals to plus or minus 3 root of 13 plus. Now recall that m times n is actually 3. So let's check that out. From this particular equation, we had m times n. And from the original equation, we had it as 3. So let's just replace the m times n here with 3. So we are going to have 2 into 3. We have m plus n or power 2 is equals to plus or minus 3 root of 13 plus 6. Then let's rearrange this equation. We are going to have m plus n or power 2 is equals to 6 plus or minus 3 root of 13. Now we can have it as m plus n or power 2 is equals to 6 plus 3 root of 13 or we have it as 6 minus what? 3 root of what? 13. Now if you consider this m plus n or power 2, this definitely will give you the value or a value that is greater than or equals to 0. Right? So the value of m plus n will definitely be greater or equals to 0. Then also, we have 6 plus 3 root of 13. This also will give us a value that is greater than or equals to 0. But this other one here, will definitely give us a value that is less than what? Zero. So this will give us a negative number. So we are not going to consider this 6 minus 3 root of what? 13. So the only one we are going to consider in this particular solution is we are going to have m plus n or power 2 is equals to 6 plus 3 root of what? 13. So at this point, we can solve for the value of m plus n by taking the square root of both sides of this equation. We have square root of m plus n equals to we have plus or minus square root of 6 plus 3 root of what? 13. Now the square root here will cancel the square. Here, so we are going to have m plus n is equals to plus or minus square root of 6 plus 3 root of what? 13. So this becomes the value for m plus n. So if you get back to the original equation, you can as well write it as m plus n is now, we can as well erase this. And we can have it as m plus n equals to plus or minus square root of 6 plus 3 root of what? 13. So that is it for the video. Thank you and goodbye.